guys, so I wanted to give you guys an update on how Sadie's doing with potty training. Let me kind of sit myself up here a little bit. Um, I wanted to kind of update you guys on how she was doing with cloth diapering and how I was doing with cloth diapering, but there's not much cloth diapering going on anymore, so there's really not much I can tell you. Um, yeah, so I guess I can just, I don't know if I want to like tell you the story of how we decided to start potty training and then how it's gone throughout the time or how I want to structure this. But I, would, I just want to start off by saying that she's about 75% potty trained at this point. And I read an article, so I think it was on Pinterest, it was an article about how you, know, how you can potty train your child in 24 hours. And it may have worked for that person. And I think that some toddlers, they just get it. And it clicks and they are ready to go. But that that's not how our story is. That's not how how ours went that's a um my daughter's two she's two in a couple of months and um i just don't necessarily think that that was the right road for us uh, i don't think it was possible for us to potty train her in one day so it's been going on for about a month now and at first i guess i'll start with the reasons why i thought we were ready why i knew she was ready and the first reason is because when she was still kind of having the diaper rash issue going on off and on even with the cloth diapers she still had rashes going on I would let her walk around bare butt because you know a lot of times they say you know maybe the booty just needs some air so air it out let her walk around with no diaper on she would not pee the whole time that she would not have a diaper on the whole time that she was bare butt she wouldn't have accidents and so that was the first indication that I'm thinking maybe she waits till I put the diaper on her, she's holding it until I put the diaper on her, and then she's going pee. And so that was the first indication that I that I knew that she had she had the ability to hold it. And then um, at, at another point, I allowed her to wear underwear during nap time, and I told her she'd get a special treat if she was able to wake up and her underwear was dry. And we did that a couple times, and she was able to wake up dry. So that was another indication that I'm like, okay. Maybe she doesn't have a desire, you know, she doesn't go up to a potty and want to use the bathroom. She has no desire. She doesn't tell me that she has to go potty or anything like that. She's She, she wasn't going to approach this decision on her own. Um, <laughs> but, um, but I knew that physically her anatomy was capable of doing it. And I think a lot of times... Um, you know, every child is different, and I think some parents push their children too early, and sometimes when their sphincters and their bladders are not ready to hold it, they just aren't ready. And so, um, so that was something that I definitely wanted to make sure that she was physically ready for. So, um, I knew that she was. So then it was just kind of a matter of retraining her brain to thinking that you know, where she was used to peeing in a diaper and she knew that that was acceptable to switching over and knowing that she was supposed to go potty in the potty now. So I made her a little potty training corner and you can go check out that corner. I um, did a little video of it whenever I set it up so I will link that video below if you want to check that out. I made her her own little corner where she had some toys and a little potty chart and her potty and it could feel like her own little space. And I brought her over to the corner and I told her, I said, Sadie, this is where I want you to put all your potty, uh, pee pees from now on. And if you put pee pees in this potty, then you get a sticker and you will get a miniature cow tail. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, cow tails are these long, like caramel straws and they have um, frost, uh, vanilla cream in the middle of it. And Generally, you can find them at the gas station, and they're about this long, like, probably like a foot long or so, nine inches to a foot long, I don't know. <laughs> and um, But these are like a third of that size, so they're miniature. But she knows that that's usually the treat that I have for myself, and I have to hide them from her because I don't like to share them with her. But she knew that that was something that Mommy really likes, and she didn't get them very often at all, and so the fact that that we were using that as a motivational tool for her she was down with that so that was something that motivated her I know that some people say well I told my child that if they peed they get one M&M and if they poop they get two M&Ms that for my child was not gonna work it's I don't know it's 
one or two M&Ms may work with a different adult. I think that if she went to like school or uh, like a preschool or something and they were doing it there, then they, she may have reacted well to it. Too, but for us in our house, I'm, I don't know, M&Ms are just something that we eat by the handful, not really one at a time or two at a time. So you can judge me if you want to, but I don't care. <laughs> so one or two M&Ms was not really going to be effective for her. But but she knew that those cowtails were a big treat. So um, the real big obstacle then was just getting her to do her first pee-pee because, again, it was not natural to her. It was not natural for her to just let go without wearing a diaper. So I would have her sit on the potty and we would play with all of her little toys over there and um, and I don't know, we, we did it several times. I think we would sit there for probably 45 minutes at a time. It didn't happen the first day. I think it happened the second or third day that we tried it, she, she did it. And after that, it's not like, okay, all of a sudden she just did it every time. It, it, it is just kind of something that um, throughout the day I would say hey do you want to go try and do potty now let's go try and do potty and so I'd strip her down set her on the potty we'd play for a little while and I think in a matter of three days she had all five of her little boxes on her potty chart filled so that was really cool and then <laughs> something clicked in her mind where she realized if I pee pee no matter how much I pee pee I get my treats so then she started, every time that she felt a little something, she would go pee. <laughs> and so she was peeing like every 25 minutes and every single time she would pee and she'd tell me, mommy, go dump it, go dump it. So I would have to go. She didn't want any pee pee in the potty ever at all. Like as soon as she'd pee, she'd tell me to go dump it and she wouldn't go pee again until it was dumped. So I was like, all right. So I was constantly dumping the pee out. And then she would just go tinkle a little bit, just enough to cover the little bottom. And she'd, pee pee, mommy, I need a treat. And so I'd um, get her a treat. And then slowly I started kind of, um, because I kind of had caught on to her game at this point, I kind of would tell her, okay, hold on a minute. <laughs> you know, I'd give her her sticker right away and I'd give her her recognition, her verbal, you know, affirmation, thing like that. But I would tell her, oh, wait a minute, you know, as far as the candy was concerned. And usually she'd forget about it. Oh, you know, and I every once in a while I'd still give it to her, but I just felt like she was getting so much sugar. So I would either try and distract her with a book, or just spending spending quality one on one time with her, or um, having her come help me do something, or something that was not, you know, something at more attention related than candy related. And so at this point, we've pretty much gotten completely away from candy. Um, I still give her stickers for every time that she pee pees, but not so much candy and then about a week and a half ago she was still going she still hadn't gone poop in the potty yet she was still waiting for her diaper at nighttime to go poop and so about a week and a half ago I <laughs> told her I said now you've been doing a really good job going pee pee in the potty but today I want a poo poo I want you to put a poo poo in the potty you think you can put a poo poo in the potty and she said, yeah, you know. And so I, I really tried to get her motivated on focusing on doing a poo-poo for me. So it didn't happen that day. It didn't happen the next day. But randomly, and this is the thing that was so crazy to me, I wasn't even in the room. And um, my husband goes, I think she pooped. And my husband was sitting in the room with her. And I don't even remember if I was taking a nap or what I was doing. But I came into the room, and he's like, I think she pooped. And I'm like, and she, I guess, didn't make a big deal about it to him. And he didn't make a big deal about it to her. And she just did it. And then I come in the room and he's like, I think she pooped because I smell something. And I go over there and she had a big poop. And I'm like, Sadie, you pooped. And I made a big deal about it. <laughs> but it's just so weird because you would think, you know, I know that with me, she would have been like, Mommy, I pooped, I pooped. But I don't know. I don't know if she was shy and she didn't want to tell him or she just figured that, I don't know, that he was not her main potty trainer. So maybe she figured he wouldn't care. I don't know. But it was so funny. And then, um, and then after that, like the next time she pooped, I, I was right there. And so we did the poo poo dance and she got a big sticker and she did get, she did get a candy for that. Cause I really wanted to make sure that it was reinforced that this is a good thing. So she's been regularly pooping in the potty. Now I haven't had a poopy diaper. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for, uh, 
about a week and a half so it's been really really nice um yeah so at this point we're still doing diapers for nap time and for night time I had tried to put her in diapers for nap time and even though before she was making it through you know before she was potty trained she was making it through nap time dry now she can't make it through nap time without having an accident or she hasn't the past couple times so we'll keep trying intermittently you know um maybe that'll be the next big motivation like I'll be like all right you know I think I just really have to work it up to a big deal <laughs> and maybe she'll be able to do it but when she's sleeping it's hard for her to hold it and I understand that I don't want to put too much pressure on her either so um so yeah but we are able to go out and her with her in her underwear we usually go potty right before we leave and you know usually we 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 know about the good interval of time before she'll need to go potty again and then you know we make sure that she goes potty frequently while we're out and then as soon as we get home you know so um th we have had a couple accidents when we've been out but it's always been in the car so um we always try to make sure that before we leave someplace that we ask her do you have to go potty and trust her when she says no but it's pretty much been when we've forgotten to ask her she'll have an accident in the car and i think it's happened twice so um i guess my big tips are if you're gonna be potty training and you're ready to go out and about bring br make sure you bring changes of clothes make sure that you're prepared and you know don't be too hard on them they're still learning too this is this is a big change for them so I don't know that's my update sorry if it was all over the place but I did want to let you guys know what was going on and um, and yeah so we're really excited and we're ready to put the diapers away until baby comes along and we can start the whole thing over again so yeah but um but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time bye